What they don't tell you about being a realtor is that you're not just in the service industry, you are also a marketer. Not only do you have to market the service, but you have to market yourself. Because if you don't do that, you don't have any business. So let me break down the seven pieces of marketing realtor version. Number one, product. You should be really educated on the real estate market and your specific area and those clients that you're serving. You have to study up on the supply and demand of your area and you also have to create a value proposition for yourself, which basically means you have to determine why someone's gonna choose you over anybody else. Gotta know your product. Number two is pricing. You have to know the market so well that you know exactly how to price each property. You also have to determine the pricing for your services that you're offering. This can take some practice, so give yourself some grace. Number three is promotion. Man, in the digital world of marketing, you have to know how to advertise for your services. What platforms are you gonna use to push your ads out there so that people know that you exist? And if they're not ads, maybe it's just social media, or maybe it's local events or local sponsorships with teams in the local area. Basically, how are you gonna spread the word about you and your services? My advice would be to pick two to four pillars of how you're going to promote your business and start there. Number four is place. Where are you gonna place your marketing so that people can see what you're offering? This includes houses. How are you going to place houses on the market? We use MLS systems so that the exposure goes out to all the third parties. Are you gonna do open houses? Are you gonna have signs? What are you gonna do? Number five is people. What kind of people are you gonna hire or leverage or work with and partner with to make sure that your brand is quality controlled and that you provide the level of service that you wanna provide. So maybe if you're joining a team, you make sure that they align with your values and what you provide, or if you're building it yourself, you wanna make sure that your marketing is all aligned or that you're working with creators that can help you with that. Or maybe you need an office staff or admin or TC to help you service your clients. Your people will be your biggest assets. Number six is process. What processes are you gonna put in place to make sure everything goes smoothly all around? A seamless process can get you five-star reviews, which can turn into more referrals and more business that keeps on going. Following a process will also make it easier for you to scale and grow when it comes time. And number seven is physical evidence. This may be some swag that you wear so that people understand your brand, signage, an office space, or maybe a vehicle that you have your contact information on, an online storefront or a website that allows people to contact you, marketing gifts or promotions that you give away to start getting repeat business, or sometimes just your physical presence. I mean, how are people gonna know that your business exists? Well, there you have it. Let me know if I missed something in the comments and follow for more.